Good afternoon to all. Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. My name is Benjamin and I'll be sharing my research and analysis on Sarin Technologies Limited. Sarin is a global leader with unique proprietary technology, specifically designed for and applied to the diamond industry. Their technology includes advanced evaluation, planning, cutting, shaping, polishing and grading systems for diamond production. It is established and headquartered in Israel in 1988 and listed on the SGX main board in 2005. The products provide smart solutions for every stage and aspect of diamond manufacturing and help increase the profit margins at all stages of the trade between rough diamonds and polished diamonds. They currently have an estimated 75% market share in the diamond planning and manufacturing equipment market. The diamond value chain is made up of three segments, the upstream segment of exploration and mining, the midstream of manufacturing, which is cutting and polishing, and the downstream segment of jewelry manufacturing and retailing. Sarin caters to the midstream of the market, which is the manufacturing process, to transform a rough diamond to a polished diamond. They have products that ranges from inclusion mapping to visual aids for trade, thereby providing solutions for every stage of the diamond manufacturing process. Sarin has a near monopolistic position in the rough diamond planning and manufacturing equipment market, where it estimates that it currently holds about 75% market share. Sarin's products help maximize the yield from a rough diamond and this is critical to its customers as they boost the operating margins of their customers because the value of polished diamonds increase exponentially with the increase in carat size and quality of the diamond. The Galaxy family of equipment, being the Galaxy and Solaris, has been a game changer not only for the diamond manufacturing industry but also the business model of Surrey. This class of products commercialized in late 2009 has transformed Surrey's proposition to its customers from being a KPEX perspective to an OPEX perspective. In the past, Sarin's equipment sales used to be a one-off KPEX for its customers. During the global financial crisis, demand for diamonds was also adversely affected. Diamond manufacturers cut down their KPEX spending accordingly, which impacted Sarin's equipment sales. With the successful commercialization of get the Galaxy family, this has allowed Sarin's business model to evolve into one with recurring streams of revenue, which greatly boosted its revenue growth as well as the gross profit margins. Recurring revenue have reached over 30% of total revenue by FY13 and we project for this to be over 50% of revenue by 2016. Sarin has recently introduced two new products, the Loop and the Light, which is targeted for the downstream segment of the diamond value chain, the polished diamond sector. This segment has much higher potential than the middle segment as the highest amount of value per diamond is unlocked in the jewelry manufacturing and retail sales. So the Sarin Light and Sarin Loop therefore holds the potential to drive Sarin into the next growth stage. We initiate coverage on Sarin Technologies with an accumulate rating and value at a one-year forward target price of $3.20 using a discounted cash flow methodology. With that, I have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching this week's Market Watch. I'm Benjamin from Philip Securities Research. Tune in for more Market Watch videos.